Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Dehaze node. And this node is another DaVinci Resolve effects available within Fusion. And it is a studio version only. So let's go ahead and jump into Fusion. And uh, right here we've got an image with some haze going on. And uh, it may, may not be an issue. I personally probably wouldn't fix this. But uh, if you need to remove some haze, Resolve has a dehaze node. So let's go ahead and uh, hit shift space and search dehaze. And uh, as soon as I go ahead and look at this, it's going to completely break our image. <laughs> it looks horrible now, but this is the dehaze node. And what the dehaze node is doing is it's creating kind of a fake depth map to determine what's far away and what's close to reassign colors and contrast according to that haze. So to see this better, if I go over here and select this display depth and no, unfortunately, if we go here, we do not get a Z channel that comes out of this. That would be great, but we don't. But this is what this node is doing is trying to determine the depth of this image. So in here, under our display depth, we can change our shadows, change the location of our shadows, basically, bringing it forward and back, as well as our highlights, bringing it forward and back. So if we look at our image and we change our shadows, you can see it's bringing that haze forward and backwards. Change our highlights is bringing that forward and backwards. But to use this, properly, we really need to get the haze color because it's assuming this is the color and it's going to base any color changes off of this color. So if we go and uh, view our original image, select our haze, and if we grab the picker and pick somewhere to get a haze color, um, but just watch it because over here, this really isn't necessarily the haze color. This is the color of the trees through the haze. This is the color of his skin through the haze. So you got to pick whatever you think is the haze color and pick the haze color. So now if we go and look, this is what it did to our image. And up top, we have the ability to change the dehaze strength. So the more we add, the more contrast is going to add to the non hazy areas based off of this depth map. And if we lower it, it's actually going to pull saturation away from those super hazy areas dictated by our depth map. So that's all the way down. That's all the way up. So you can see this pretty much destroys an image on some images, but some other images, let's go ahead and refresh this. And that's why I have two medias here. We've also got this media, which isn't bad, but we do have a little haze going on back there, way in the back. So if I plug this node in, we go to our dehaze node, you can see right away, it kind of pulled some of those colors out to uh, fix some of that haze so we can see these clouds again. And I will shut it off. Oops, I will shut it off. Turn it on, shut it off, turn it on. So you can see the difference this dehaze node is doing on this image. So using it on an image like this makes a little more sense. Because if we look at our depth map, it's really showing a real depth map with the sky way in the back as opposed to our other image. So same with this, you would pick your color, change your dehaze strength. And there we go. Dehaze off, dehaze on. So that is the dehaze node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.